Hi there. This video is going to show you how to add a simple background to a, a web page. So I have a some sample um, text in here. No real CSS to speak of other than centering this footer down here at the bottom. But you'll see according to my code I've got I've broken it up into semantic divs. So I've got a header with an H1 working with backgrounds and then I have a main section here that contains step one and step two and then I have a footer at the bottom with my copyright. Okay, so there are many different ways of using backgrounds, but one of the best and easiest ways to do it is to basically go out to your favorite Google and maybe find a free background um, images for websites. And I believe, I, I mean, there's many different ones out here Let me just do free background. This one I found um, some on this toptol.com and uh, they've got some cool backgrounds to look through. So again, there's many websites out here like this. Just make sure that the item that you're downloading is actually so associated with a particular download button because sometimes there's advertisements on. Uh, these free resource sites that can kind of download things that you don't want on your computer. Um, so with backgrounds, the best thing to do is if, if you want to use like a dark background like this one, um, you definitely want to make sure that you have some contrasting colors for the font. Because with dark backgrounds, you're going to want to have light or bright fonts. With lighter backgrounds, you can use dark fonts on. Definitely don't want anything light. So if you find something that you like on one of these sites, you can download it and then just make sure to put the, um, the image file in your uh, web development directory. So let me show you. I have downloaded a couple already. Um, I downloaded this one called Hypnotize and looks like this. So basically it is one um, box and the default for a background on a website is that that background just constantly repeats over and over again. So I got that one and then I also have this tree bark one. So notice they're both pretty light grays. Um, so let's take a look and see what we can do with that to add that to this page. So the first thing that you want to do is um, let's let's do some basic styling here of this page by putting in some styles for my body. So I'm going to put a 10% margin on this and let's see what that looks like. So all that does is it kind of centers my content a little bit better gives us some working space, some white space on right, right, left, and top, and bottom, but you can't really see it because my page doesn't take up that much room. Okay, so what you want to do, if you want to apply the background to the entire web browser, you're going to want to attach that background to the body. So the way you do that is by putting in background image, colon, and then you want to use URL. It's kind of strange because you're putting URL in, but you're really just grabbing the file name for where what background image you're going to use. Now remember, I already put these in my um, web folder, and I've already saved this uh, HTML page to that same folder. So as I'm typing this up, it's going to automatically pull up all of my files that I have in that. So let's go ahead and um, let's do the hypnotize one and a semicolon. So by default it's going to do the entire page and that is what it looks like. Now this might be a little distracting because there's a, it's kind of a busy background. You can still read my content but there might be some other things that you might want to do here. So let's say I want to take this background and use this as my background but I want to have this the, there be like a white or a you know some other kind of like lightish color behind my font so that it's easier to read. Well I can't do something like this. I can't just say background color equals white. Alright let's take a look and see if anything happens. So 
nothing happens because this image is already taking up everything. So if the image was transparent then and didn't have all the stuff on it, then I could I could do something like that. Um, the best way to do this is to kind of create a box around this your entire content. So again, like I said, I've already gotten one for the header and main and footer. So, okay, let's maybe you say let's put it just behind the header and see what happens. So if I put a header background color white, what's going to happen here? I'm just going to get that background color right behind my word and I mean maybe that's what we want. Uh, let me put one behind the main section. So there it is behind the main. Now you see I've got some space in here. Okay, so I've got some, some space. What do I want to do with this space? So I want to find out what that space is coming from. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm right clicking and choosing inspect so I can see. So I'm going to take a look and see where the space is coming from. So you see there's my header and then as soon as I hover over the H1 what do you notice? The H1 box is really big and if I take a look down here in my CSS file it's telling me that the user agent style sheet which is my web browser says that there should be a margin before and after this block. So if I want to, to use this but I don't want there to be some background coming through I can come in here and say header h1 margin top 0 margin bottom 0 and let's see if that fixes that okay didn't quite fix everything well so let's see maybe oh look at that see in my main section my h2 is doing the same exact thing so I can override it here in my main if I wanted to do that do the same thing margin top zero okay but then that kinda does weird things for me right so if I didn't want to have to go through all that let's do another option here I'm gonna remove those so what's an easier way to do this okay an easier way to do this is to use the div tag so I'm going to put a div tag right at the very top of my content and I'm going to call it div ID equals container. This is something that you might see in many other websites. I'm going to put this container at the top and the bottom. And basically what this is going to do, not, there's not going to be any changes once I save this um, other than the fact that I removed those what is going to happen though is my body is the entire web browser but now I've created another box called the container so if I inspect and I took a look at my body look at that the div ID container is exactly my content right so this gives us by using that div ID container I now have a I have another box to work with right so I can come up here and I'm going to put this under my body tag. Now remember, this is an ID, so we do ID number. That's how I like to remember it. Container. And now I can say background color white. And let's see what that looks like. That looks much better, except that I'm going to want to put a little bit of padding in here. So maybe I want like a 15 pixel. So see now I'm getting I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with this. So here I've got a background, but I also have the ability to kind of show you the content without having that distracting thing. Now you can do other things with this with your container. Maybe I want to put a um, a border around this one pixel solid uh, dark gray and see what that looks like so see this is looking a little cleaner and although I'm not like a huge fan some people like to put in border radius 
And so let's take a look at some of the ways, because we haven't talked about this, this tag yet. If I do a border radius of 90%, this is going to try and make an oval. Okay, that looks really bad, right? Oh, and actually I still have this header and main background color in here, so that gives me a better idea. Okay, so this is not what I want, right? 90% is going to try and make it into as much of a circle. So maybe I want to do something that's like, let's see what, let's see what 30% looks like. So 30% gives us more of an oblong and I'm going to keep going down a little lower because I just want this to be a very subtle, um, of a subtle radius. I still a little too much. Let's go as low as 3%. So 3% gives me just a tiny little bit of edge there and as I expand and minimize my window it doesn't it's not too it's not messing with my content at all. You can always change the background color maybe you don't want it to be white maybe you want it to be light gray yeah don't really like that Maybe you want it to be pink. Let's see. So, you know, there's many different things that you can do here with this, but this is one of the easiest ways to put a background image for your entire page. And we'll talk um, in other videos about other ways that you can apply backgrounds. Thanks. Bye.